instruct instruction guide video down below. Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business. Welcome back to the show. Hooray! Today on QuickBooks Point of Sale, I am going to show you how to properly complete a layaway. I noticed a number of customers may not actually be completing layaways the way that you should. So if you are taking all of the money on the layaway and then just moving it to closed when the customer picks it up, that is the wrong way to do it. I am going to show you how to complete it so that your inventory comes out of stock, your quantities get depleted, and the proper money moves from the deposit account where it's sitting in a bucket right on over to um, your actual income account and then the tax and everything is realized as real money coming in. Okay, so before we get into it, I'm gonna have you click on the link down in the description below to get over to our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group, which is a wonderful community full of point of sale users just like yourself pitching in to answer questions and post posts and learn together, I will see you over there. Click on that link. And if you're on YouTube today, don't forget to hit subscribe so you get all the latest, greatest QuickBooks point of sale videos coming at you all the time. All right, let's take a look at this on the customer order list. I have some open layaways and I am going to point out that uh, Sammy Davis has a layaway and he has paid a down deposit on it. Uh, it is 100% unfulfilled though. And I am also going to actually add a status column so I can tell what's going on with these orders. Sorry, forgot to do that beforehand. So let's go ahead and put this up here. Okay, we got layaways. <clears throat> uh, I do have some custom statuses going on. Apparently I have contacted Sammy Davis because his product has come in and it is ready to be picked up. So I'm going to open this up here and what some people have been doing on layaways or customer orders in general is that they would they'd go ahead and take the full deposit for the full payment amount so that the customer then owes nothing and then they just move it to closed and uh, that is not what you want to do folks. Here is how to properly complete a layaway order so that uh, the stock gets pulled out of your quantities and everything works out correctly. Uh, you can, if you want to, end up paying the, the layaway off at 100% on this layaway screen. You can go and take more payments until it's totally paid off, but you can save yourself a step by doing this completion correctly what you want to do at the end of a layaway when it's in your customers here they're gonna pick it up you're gonna bring up the layaway and you are going to choose sell items that will automatically move us over to the make a sale receipt screen so here it's asking uh, if we had multiple items it, it would ask if we want to bring all items to the sale so I'm just gonna hit select all we only have one thing here but uh, if you had more you just hit select all and I'm gonna hit continue it's going to boot us over to the make a sale receipt screen and this is where the actual sale happens and we can see down here that deposit used it's going to pull the sixteen dollars that he already deposited into the sale and so he has a remainder due of sixty three ninety nine which is what we're going to take care of today when he picks it up uh, and just to reiterate that we are moving the money out of the deposit bucket in quickbooks accounting or the the customer deposits account into uh, actually becoming income so if you were to just pay the full thing on the layaway pull pay the full bill and then move it to closed you'd still have quantities on your books and the money would still be in the deposits account and uh, the tax would also not be realized if there was tax on this product so we are gonna pay off the remainder with cash uh, they have a reward I guess I am going to save that for later and here we go we're just taking 63.99 cash and saving and this is the point at which the customer would get the receipt for the real items and that would be their proof of purchase type receipt uh, you may have noticed that the deposit receipts might not have all the items on them in your history that's because that's just a deposit so my name is Peter with BlackRock Business. If this was helpful to you, go ahead and smash that like button down there. I will see you on the next video. You have a stupendous evening. Bye-bye.